Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the vlog that nobody asked for, but everyone is getting! Today, we are getting my eyelid drained. But... <laughs> So I why did my channel turn into like just like medical like I don't know why but since I had this baby I've just had one medical thing after the next if you've been following my journey this last week I've had an infection or rather like a clogged pore on my eyelid and it's gotten to the point where no amount of hot compress or antibiotic cream is going to help it. I need to seek <laughs> medical help, medical attention. So I've been trying for a week to get in to see an eye doctor, my eye doctor. And after a week of literally bugging them and being like calling every day and emailing back and forth with this one chick who was like, I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you, get back to you. And like, let me talk to the doctor. I'll get back to you. Oh my God, this person is going to hit my car. Oh, my heart. Um, so after a week of like hounding my doctor to get me in, I called today and I talked to someone different and they're like, oh no, no one can do it here. There's a specialist that comes, but she only comes once every other month. So the first time she can see you is in February. And I literally was like, um, I've been calling for a week and why has no one told me this? Like, well, I wasted a whole week waiting for you guys to call me back. Um, and then I started crying. <laughs> then I hung up. Um, and somehow I ended up apologizing because that's who I am when, whatever. Anyways, so I got a referral to another doctor and I'm going there now. This is all to say, fast forward if you don't like gross stuff. This thing on my eye, like, is now bleeding. So, um, I am curious to know what they're going to do today. I feel like they're going to go in there and actually just like drain it out. It's basically like a really bad pimple or something on my darn eyelid. <sighs> so, you know, this is what my channel has become. Just gross medical procedures after another. Let's go. All right. More of a warning. You've been warned. Uh, th this is bloody. It's not as bad as I'm making it out to be, but it's not cute. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! I mean, obviously there's like blood up there, um, but my God, that was horrifying. First of all, this is a new doctor that I went to and he was incredible. He got my sense of humor. Um, do you want me to put glass? I should put glasses on. I'm going to put glasses on. Hold on. Okay. I'm having a glass of wine. Cheers. Um, that was, hi Queen. Um, that was a horrifying experience. Um, first of all, in positive news i never been to that doctor before but he was excellent to the point where i'm like i'm, not, I'm writing this man a yelp review because i was so afraid i was so scared i was literally sweating and shaking because they had to take a needle to my eye hence the wine right now folks because my anxiety is through the roof and i feel like i oh I was like, listen, I've given, I gave childbirth. I had heart failure and I, this is still one of the most horrifying things I've ever done. So, <sighs> namaste. Um, basically he was like, listen, you can keep doing what you're doing, but it'll probably take forever for it to go away. And it's like clearly very infected. So I think you need to start antibiotics. And I was like, oh, I don't, I hate taking antibiotics. Like just my own personal preference. It always like screws my stomach up and my whole system up. And also I've been on so much medication um, with all the heart stuff. And like, is there any other alternative? And he's like, well, it probably the fastest way to get rid of this is for me to like poke at it and basically drain it for you. It's like, oh, okay, fine. So um, he was so good with me. I nearly passed out, but we got it done. But unfortunately, like he couldn't get everything out of there. So I have to take antibiotics, um, which I'll start tomorrow. Hence the final supper. Um, and keep like the creams on it. So I just had a really bad infection. It just got really inflamed and kind of wild. But what I wanted to share is... Over the years, I've learned how to talk to doctors and I feel like in the past, I wasn't able to use my voice. And I've talked about this a lot, actually, during the whole heart failure thing about like speaking up for yourself and using your voice. But more so than that, in this instance, it's like, I was like terrified. Okay. That was very, very scary. There's no numbing cream. There's no anti-anxiety, like nothing. And it's all by myself. And like, this all just kind of happened kind of fast. So I didn't, like wasn't mentally prepared to have a needle poked into my eyeball or my eyelid rather um 
but in a place that I've never been before. Like, you know, it's just a lot of factors for someone who's medically anxious. Um, but I was just a hundred percent honest with everyone in the staff everyone that worked there, including the doctor. And I just used sense of humor and my like true personality, which is wild right now, um, to its fullest. And like, I feel because I was a hundred percent authentically me, which maybe was the weirdest version of me today. Um, but I was just like straight up honest with them. I feel like not only did I get like the best service ever, but also it made me so much more comfortable because they were like fully aware of who I was and what I needed. And they kind of met me at the energy that I was bringing in. And I feel like in the past I've been afraid to sort of be myself around like quote unquote authority figures. Like I always, I wasn't good with teachers, except for maybe like the theater and arts teachers, but I never felt like I could fully be myself because I felt like they were like, you know, these superior, my superiors, is that the right term? Which they are, you should definitely like, your teachers are, you should need to respect your teachers, etc. But like, I didn't know how to talk to them as a human. I talked to them as a quote unquote student and what I thought a student was supposed to be. Um, and I feel like a lot of other students were able to talk more personally with teachers and like uh, be more themselves with teachers. And I always felt that too with like doctors. And I just think recently I've come into my own in terms of being able to talk to like pretty much anyone as like my peers. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just, it's the best way to connect with people is just to be completely frank and honest, like I do here on this channel and like kind of pull that into real life. And today was like the perfect example. Like I was joking with the doctor so much like that I got him joking back. And like, I don't think I could have gone through with, I almost walked out without doing this procedure, but I don't think I could have gone through it had I not sort of shown him my true colors and in doing so he was able to like meet me there does that make sense so that's my message for the day along with the fact that i'm still gonna have this eye thing on for like quite some time more oh my god it looks worse than it is because he was poking at it and it was bleeding and now it's like the blood has risen up cheers to rolling with the punches and just <laughs> doing what you gotta do I did come home to a sleeping baby, which was awesome. So I'm grateful for that to have a moment to catch up with you guys um, and explain everything. I was going to go to the mall today and like try on jeans for a video. I was going to like stack videos today. I also can get my nails done, but ultimately, I mean, you just got to take care of business and this is business. Ooh, tomorrow we have our first mommy and me class and I'm so sad that my eyes could look like this. Like, oh, this has just been a completely humbling experience to say the least. Oh, look at that plant in the back. It looks like a heart. Love that for us. All right, folks, I'm eating um, some snacks. I showed these when I was pregnant and I got them again yesterday. And I'm so glad that I did. They're the lesser evil space balls. They have them in this cheese flavor. Um, it's like a vegan cheese and they also have them in a cinnamon. I forgot how good they are, even when you're not pregnant, delicious. Anyways, I'm putting together a list of Black Friday deals um, that I would personally shop or items that I love so much that are going on sale for Black Friday. So I'm going to do some, I'm, fingers crossed I can get this done. I'm going to do um, some baby items, like best of baby items. Why am I not in focus? I'm definitely gonna do best of baby items, but what other items do you want me to include? Like gift ideas, um, personal like clothing stuff. Like, let me know uh, down below what items you want me to include in this Black Friday sale. I probably home goods because I personally am gonna shop a few things um, in the home goods re realm uh, for Black Friday because honestly, like Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday, small businesses. Saturdays, um, small business Saturday or small business Sunday. I think it's small business Saturday. Like you can get some really, really, really good deals. And there's like a few things that like, I just haven't wanted to splurge on like a rug that I'm probably going to go for, uh, this next upcoming weekend, not this weekend, but like next weekend. So let me know. Um, I'm going to do that. I think I'll do like a full video of it and also put together like a swipe up thing on my Instagram. This is all assuming that I can pull it together 
things are a little trickier now, but um, let me know. So I did reach out to a few companies that I really love to see if they're going to have uh, Black Fridays. And so far, it looks like everyone's doing some sort of a sale. So um, make sure you follow me on Instagram to uh, get that. But please let me know down below so I can include items that you're interested in or you've been eyeing. Let me do the work for you. Let me do the internet searching for you, you know what I mean? Okay, sorry, you just have to look at the eye because the camera like won't focus if I'm wearing sunglasses. It's very bizarre. It just wants you to see this beauty. Um, I'm going through the Nordstrom's Black Friday sale. Um, not sponsored. I really wish that they would sponsor me. I am such a fan of Nordstrom um, because, well, many things. They carry so many different brands and I feel like they're always having decent sales, but they have free shipping and free returns. Like you can't beat that. It's so easy with them. So I think it's a great place um, to like get products through. That and Target, um, whenever I try to like post links, I try to mostly do it through Target um, and or Nordstrom and Amazon. Um, anyways, so I'm looking through there um, and they have some really good sales going. So I'm pretty excited to share uh, these things do you guys are you guys looking at beauty products as well i'm not really one for many beauty products but there are a few items that i use on a constant basis clearly i'm the beauty queen of all queens jeff is almost home and i can't wait for him to or for you guys to see his reaction to my eye stay tuned jeff um what, what do you think about my eye what about it I just said that Jeff was going to get the reveal on camera. To say? It's great. <laughs> I don't. I love you. I think you're beautiful. I hope you're well. I hope you heal. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's the best thing that's happened to this family. <laughs> okay, but I have a new revelation for both you and. I got. What are you doing? Corny her probiotics. Go on while the okay, house, well. uh, continues to function. Okay, guys, I want to share something with everyone here. I love it. I can't wait to see more eye styles. Like, what's the answer to that? What do I think of your eyes? I know, but I have a new bloody thing to show. Um, here, take the camera. Oh boy. Hey, for the, for the home viewers, I don't know a bloody thing we're about to see either. I know, I'm really excited for everyone. So, I'm just about to get in the shower, and I accidentally take this pinky finger, and I scrape my leg, and I see that there's a piece of skin on my finger. And I think, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> oh my God. What is going on with me? Why am I falling apart? You need some fucking calcium. Is that what's happening? I don't know, but it can't hurt if you had a nice glass of milk or something. Oh my goodness. I'm sure many people are in the comments are gonna tell me what's wrong with me. Take a multivitamin. What is going on? I don't know, man, but, you know, eat a banana. Oh my god, this is the grossest vlog that it ever has been. I'm so sorry for who I am and what I am. <laughs> don't hide it. Have pride in it. Close that eye. Yeah. Whoa, guys. Um, well, thank you. Hold on, you're not focused. Which is probably for the best. Uh, this camera will not focus on me anymore. It's probably for the best. I'm so sorry for what I've become and for what this channel has become. I had all these intentions to do all this great stuff today, and this is who I am and what I am now. It's like a version of Dr. Pimple Popper, except you're just getting worse, you know? It's wild. Stay tuned. Eat what, that. What's going to be bloody tomorrow? Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Any final last words, Jeff? What do I think of your eye? It's every morning I wake up and I say, God, thank you, God, for giving this eye mountain more volume and more eye lava. That's what I think about it. Thank you, God. Actually, the truth of the matter is, Jeff, I called you crying yesterday and you talked me off the ledge. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. Again, I told you, this is a vlog no one asked for, but it's what you're getting. Um, I love you all so much. I'm going to take some calcium, take a shower, and try again tomorrow. I love you. Uh, I will update you on how mommy and me goes. I will probably vlog tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Love you.